rub it through my scalp just like I was greasing my scalp. That was perfect for me. So use it how you prefer to use it. That's Sorry, y'all. I'm in the middle of making dinner. Welcome and welcome back, Roses. This is Olena, otherwise known as Olena Roseanne. And today we're going to do a hair video. Yes, yes, yes. It's been about a month and I just washed my hair. So we're going to go ahead and get into this product by Curls and Potions. Before we get into that, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share this with someone and leave me a comment if you would like. Okay. So I'm still a little bit underneath the weather, girl. Last week I had the flu. My son was sick and everything like that. So I'm still getting over stuff. Energy is not quite there. Um, if I sound like I'm nasally, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get into this curls and potions. Curls, coils, ways, uh, conditioning scalp mask. Okay. Now, I think I've only tried one product through curls and potions. Let me know if you've tried any of their products down below or this particular product. And I am thankful to be able to use this thanks to one of our wonderful, beautiful roses here within our rose garden donating this to me to try. Okay, so on the side, it does say conditioning scalp mask. Okay. Um, and it says that this is supposed to reduce hair loss, promote growth, and blood circulation, okay? And it's made with red reishi mushroom, bakuchi powder, and chia seed extract. And it also says this is for all hair types. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm not really into the, uh, the hype in in all the products that are supposed to promote hair growth and all the other stuff because for me they don't work um i just noticed yesterday that in my hairline i have a new patch that just decided to just disappear um and i first noticed it because one of my grays had just straight up in the front as just straight fell out i'm like uh yeah so this is what happens with my hair. My hairline is jacked up. Uh, yeah, my hairline has issues. I have been referred to dermatology um, for another issue that, you know, I kind of thought I had. And if you have watched all of my dandruff, dry scalp related videos, and you know what I'm talking about, I knew I had some either contact dermatitis or psoriasis. I had a psoriasis based shampoo. I know I'm getting a little bit off topic, but this kind of goes with this. I had a psoriasis based shampoo that made quite a difference. And with all of my health issues going on, quick little update, your girl's dealing, um, I'm seeing a rheumatologist right now, I'm going through all these blood tests, x-rays, all the other stuff. My doctor, he referred me on to dermatology because things possibly rheumatoid arthritis or some sort of arthritis or fibromyalgia or whatever i may have psoriatic arthritis after he looked at my scalp so what does that have to do with this well this also is supposed to scalp mask is a conditioner that soothes the scalp helping to stimulate growth, reduce hair loss, and improve blood circulation to the scalp. This is excellent for dry scalp and dandruff. <laughs> Hello, that's me. Is that you? Let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. My hair, I did go ahead and wash it. It still is damp. It is very, very tangled because I've pretty much been putting it up in a bun. Or just throwing it up <clears throat> in a bun with a satin scrunchie all month long. Um, so yeah, this is my hair. Clearly need to detangle it. Okay, so let me go ahead. Oh, if you notice this on my 
Sorry, y'all. I have smeared lipstick all over everything. Your girl ain't feeling good, okay? So, anyway. So, um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Y'all. Oh, if you notice it's on my thumb here. One of the many things that's been going on, if you have paid attention to my YouTube posts, yes post so make sure you have your notifications on so you get notifications of that and also instagram stories and you know i'm dealing with trigger finger and my thumb and i'm currently in physical therapy for that but this is to help me there goes some more lipstick goodness y'all this video is all over the place i'm sorry <laughs> and i'm probably not going to edit this out so Bear with me, okay? So anyway, this is supposed to prevent my thumb from bending or trying to bend and then yet causing the trigger, which hurts. It's super painful. So anyway, that's why that's there. All right, so I got most of the tape off here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and try it. Now this does say how to use. It says option one. So there's different options on how to use this. Option one, prior to shampooing, part hair in sections and apply to scalp, massage, in, let in, I guess it's, it should say leave in. I'm leaving for 15 to 20 minutes rinse. Shampoo and deep condition, option two, okay? Option two says apply to scalp after shampooing. Apply a deep conditioner to the length of, wait, 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 wait. Apply to scalp after shampooing. Apply a deep conditioner to length of hair. Let it sit for as long as you normally deep condition, rinse, then style as usual. Uh, okay. I planned on doing option two. I just didn't know. I didn't read the how to use section in the back. Apply to scalp after shampooing. Apply a deep conditioner to length the hair. So I guess this is only for the scalp, but the thing is, how is this not gonna mix in at some point with the deep conditioner? Let me tell you real quick, some of the key ingredients. It says aloe vera juice, distilled water, red reishi mushroom, shakai kai, um, chia seed extract, marshmallow root, hibiscus, fenugreek, glycerin, let me see what else here. Lemon fruit extract, sugar cane extract, camellia, sinesis, leaf extract, peppermint essential oil. And when I smelled this, I could kind of smell that there was some peppermint in it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my scalp, massage it in, and wash it out. I'm not going to combine. I know it does say to put a deep conditioner on the length of the hair but i would rather do my deep conditioning separate so it's up to you how you plan on using it i like that it has a nozzle because i can apply this straight to my scalp
gotta say that this stuff is pretty thick, so it's not just going to run out. Yeah, this is very thick. So I like that it has a nozzle, um, but the thickness is not really working in my favor right now because I got issues going on with my hand. So I'm going to take the top off. You see how I'm just holding it and it's not coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in my hand and rub it through like grease. That's pretty thick. Like I'm greasing my scalp with it. Feel a little bit of the freshness from the peppermint. And now I feel a little bit of the tingle. Feels good on the scalp. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more tingling right now. It feels good on my scalp, y'all. It's not burning my eyes or anything, so it's not that strong. The uh, peppermint oil is the very last ingredient, so just a little touch of it in there. I am going to do the rest of my scalp, and then I'll be back, and we'll just take a look at what my scalp looks like. Okay. All done. actually relaxing it really was um I know I said I wasn't going to go exactly by the directions in the back and I was going to just put the uh scalp um the conditioning scalp mask on my scalp and then go in with the separate deep conditioner but I did it Especially since I haven't done my hair in about a month, okay? So anyway, let's look at the scalp. My scalp looks good. Feels good. My hair looks good. Well, I think so. It feels good. I actually like that. It's a relaxing spa-like experience. And anything, the way I rubbed it into my scalp, anything, you know, rubbing into the scalp, you know, that promotes circulation and, and in turn probably helps, you know, promote growth. So I like it. I'll be using it again. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I didn't use anything, <laughs> barely anything. So for me, it was easier to take the top off, squeeze them onto my hand, and just, you know, pick some up every so often and 
rub it through my scalp just like I was greasing my scalp. That was perfect for me. So use it how you prefer to use it. That's Sorry, y'all. I'm in the middle of making dinner. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I love the ingredients in here. Female Black-owned business. Hey, support curls and potions. Make sure you support them, especially during the month of October, okay? All right? So, anyway, I like it. I'm going to go ahead and um you know moisturize my hair get that ready to go i'm glad i finally did something to it i thank you if you have made it this far and listen to me switching a subject i don't know how many times within this particular video give yourself a pat on the back and give me some roses yes give me some roses in your comment okay even if it's just roses go ahead and note some roses so anyway let me know have you used this have you used anything like this do you like scalp masks i mean i like anything having to do with scalp i always have and probably always will um there's no residue it wasn't hard to wash out you know it was nice and gentle on the scalp but it did have you know, a little bit of tingle I close my eyes when I say that because it, it felt good. It really did feel good. This didn't bother my eyes. I had no adverse reactions, nothing like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you appreciate this hair video. Make sure if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, okay? Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Share this with someone who might find this helpful. You know, someone who may have scalp issues and may be looking for some new products to get into, okay? And once you do subscribe, make sure you come back, okay? And turn on those notifications. Leave me a comment, and other than that, Roses, I will talk to you later.